What's good, uh, internet? My name is Attack Slug. I've been waiting, purposely avoiding talking about WWE 2K22 for a variety of reasons, but number one being that they had not shown us gameplay up until just very recently. That first trailer, a lot of live action. That second trailer, just the usual 2K, here's a cinematic shot of a finishing move type slow motion stuff that's not actually gameplay and therefore not much to really kind of react to and discuss. But before I get into the gameplay, let's play those clips first and get to where we're at here on the show today. So I've cut out just the gameplay from that first trailer. Now we know this is their tone piece. This is their play it during their actual WWE broadcast type thing that gets the casuals excited for a new game, etc, etc. It's not for me, but it's there to get people to say, all right, game coming out. Here's the date. Here's the price. Here's the pre-orders and all of your, you know, kind of bullet points. But it was largely a lot of live action and not gameplay, which is what I'm looking to look at on these kinds of things because I want to see how the game plays and this gives you none of that but again a tone piece and does what it do that was the actual gameplay footage contained in that two minute trailer was there now one thing I do want to point out here the only kind of interesting thing to talk about is number one a Nia Jax t-shirt number two a Karrion Cross and Scarlet t-shirt are they in the game we don't know yet haven't seen a roster Moving on, the second trailer released pretty soon afterwards is this is the typical 2K trailer. This is the, hey, we got the song going on in the background. We got your slow motion shots of things happening. And at this point, my thought was, oh man, these are all the same animations we've seen year after year after year in these games. And this does not look any different from what they've already done over and over and over again. Granted, the models look way better than 2K20, especially in the faces. Brock looks amazing. Like, they fixed the Goldberg face. The Rock's face looks way, way better. Like, that stuff, yeah, the lighting, phenomenal, right? But what they're showing here is not really what someone like me is looking for, which is, hey, give me gameplay, and this is obviously not that. But again, it's every year. Now, granted, when you think about this year, and them taking a year off, and them missing their fall usual release launch window, they have way more to prove this year. And so when this hit, I was like, that's not worth doing a video on. This is not, this alone is not worth doing a sole video on because again, it's kind of, you know, there's a handful of things. All right, a hockey set, cool, but not much to really get into when we've seen these animations time and time and time again. Now, Obviously, once this finishes here, we'll get into what they unveiled just the other day, and that is the actual in-game gameplay, which is what I care about in these things, in these marketing press cycles. But I will say that if you didn't catch it there, very briefly, you could see the announced team in that Roman Reigns shot, which is again, Cole, Graves, and Saxon. That has not changed for this game. But one thing you also might have missed if you didn't freeze frame it in this Roman Reigns shot is the Isaiah Swerve Scott t-shirt right over here. So what is this roster going to be? At this point, as I filmed this, we don't know. The game's out in like a month and we don't know the roster and that's going to be quite interesting. But let's get into the gameplay, shall we? Of course, the very first thing we see is the ESRB rating, which tells you it has in game purchases includes random items and we know that the my faction section is supposed to be kind of like an ultimate team type card game thing and that's gonna have the loot boxes and if you've been on the channel for a while you know my feelings on loot boxes are very well established but that's in one mode and hopefully will not infect the rest of the game fingers crossed because if you contain it in one mode i can thankfully hopefully ignore that one mode i don't care about things like ultimate team not a fan let's hit play and move on here past your esrb rating now here they started with this and i'm like wait where's you told us a match you told us gameplay and i'm like all right how are they gonna sort us here but no they did not sort us here they actually got into the business and like the first thing, the very first thing here that kind of struck me is that they made a fighting game. They made an arcade game. They made like an actually different thing than what they've been doing for the past number 
of years, and that is potentially exciting. And so I wanted to take some time here to kind of soak it in, right? I didn't want to get right into, all right, let me re react on day one for all those views and the money and whatever else. I wanted to let it sink in, say, all right, let me think on this. And also to kind of gauge the reaction from the wider internet, from Reddit, from the forums, from, you know, Twitter and that kind of thing. And I've definitely seen some mixed reactions. Like people generally like how this game looks, right? In terms of the presentation and like that right there, when it has the proper lighting, like having it be authentic, even more authentic is always a good thing. But, and having that Thunderdome crowd as an option, which was already in Wrestling Empire, but yes, having it in an option in a game like this, that's a neat feature considering that was a big chunk of this game's you know, dev time was spent in that Thunderdome. Now, here's the gameplay. First thing, man, that camera is like down and in. Now, how's that gonna look for multi-man matches? We don't know yet. This is just obviously a one-on-one. -on -one. But the first thing you're gonna notice here is the speed. Like, you're like, this is way quicker. And it, once you sit with it for a little bit, it seems more engaging. Because the first, first reaction was like, oh man, this is too fast. This is like, Hardcore, arcade, button mashing, and some folks like that. Some folks who want the, the more sim game do not like that. So I think once you kind of sit with it for a little bit and get used to it, it's okay. But this match here, it's just a lot of strikes. So I have to wonder how it plays out with actually two competent players that aren't just going to do strikes over and over and over to do their combos. So right here, just right hitting the button to hit sh sh strikes again and again and again. Now, they've said there is no more reversal meter, which to me is funny because I've been doing that for a, a while. I, I just go in and turn it off because I just find, find that mechanic annoying to play against in the games. And so instead we have dodging, we have infinite reversals, and we have the breakers, right? So there are more mechanics. The way it's been explained and the way that it seems to be built it is definitely more in line with a fighting game than a sim wrestling game. And that, again, is going to be up to you how you feel about it in terms of if you enjoy that kind of thing. And I think the control scheme is definitely going to take some adjusting to. Having light strikes and heavy strikes, but then everything else has to be a lockup first, a even to Irish whip. Got to do a first do a grapple and then do what you want to do in terms of... So here's... The controls, right? So, my understanding is that the grapple is like the old games, like No Mercy, where it's hold it to have a heavy grapple. So, that is, I think, how it's supposed to work. Having a light and a heavy, and then having kind of a rock, paper, scissors on getting the reversals or the breakouts or whatever it is, is going to be potentially compelling. Like, I'm not going to write it off immediately. It is potentially interesting in terms of how they're going to handle their gameplay. But I want to see two, like, skilled players. And also, I want to see AI versus AI. Do they only just do a, a, a bunch of strikes and not actually get into having a good AI for their AI versus AI matches? Right now, there is no meter for stamina. So will these matches be going 100 miles an hour the whole match? Or is there kind of a hidden stamina thing that kind of degrades as you get further and further or all right i'm gonna stop right there because that i don't like having the red around the screen when you hit like a finisher or a big move there not a fan hopefully it, it can be turned off but as someone who did enjoy all stars as someone who did enjoy older more arcadey more fast-paced wrestling games tentatively this looks good and I'm glad I waited for gameplay to actually sit here and, and discuss it. Because otherwise it's just me going, hey man, the hair still looks bad. Because it does. But this here is potentially, potentially interesting for what they're doing with it. Now, again, in practice, I want to see how it plays out with two skilled players up against each other. So hopefully we get some more of that kind of gameplay soon. Or at least, you know, before launch. Block, reversal, and dodge in like the breakout thing, right? So there are four different ways to get out of being attacked, essentially, which does give you a lot of tactical options. And having kind of a rock, paper, scissors kind of a mechanic 
uh, could be good, and it could be very annoying if you're just sitting there wait up, waiting on your opponent to do a thing to kind of get what they're going to do for that type of matchup. And the button mashing, again, is like interesting for a casual player, but perhaps not as much for a seasoned veteran of this series. Right now, this, this to me looks way more like a fighting game than a sim wrestling game, which is not a bad thing, but it's going to really depend on how it's executed in the hands of a competent player, and Ray didn't get that pinfall. Now, I did see a lot of complaining about the referee counting too slow, and I have to wonder, does the ref count faster or slower depending on what kind of pin meter you have, either the button mashing or the regular bar meter. Because it's like one, then two, then yeah. So specials, finishers, right? But no stamina meter, no fatigue, if you will. And I'm wondering how, if, how and if that plays a factor into these matches. Because having the whole match go, uh, go super fast for the whole time is interesting, but not really realistic in terms of how wrestling matches tend to work. But you can see that like kind of the, the waiting and the down on the referee is a bit staccato for my tastes. This stuff here, like this looks good. Like this camera, I like it, right? And how they've handled some of this stuff in terms of their presentation, I'm finding quite enjoyable. But again, they have a high bar to clear this year. A lot of folks got burned and burned badly and they have a lot to prove. Like that right there, that animation where you just pancaked looked great. It looked natural, which is what you want from a wrestling game trying to be like a TV experience. It's a lot of strikes and I have to wonder how that actually is going to work with players, especially online, right? Because when you think about online and how the you have lag online, and having a lot of just punches and kicks to register. Sure hopefully their net code is better this year's game. But when you had a year off and then some to get this thing ready, you need to knock it out of the park like on a lot, a lot of levels. So that right there, I'm concerned about having that Spanish fly be the thing happening like in the match over and over and over again. Big business here from Mysterio, boom! on Priest. One, wait for it. Two, wait for it. Like the waiting is a little bit over the top for my tastes. But I'd say in general, I like what they showed here. In general, I am tentatively excited for what they've shown here because it does actually look and play different than the last number of years. And wait, hold on, hold on. We got Sean and we got Beth looking real weird into the my rise bit of business there so and also hold on also this was in the footage from that thing last year and ali who wants out is here in the game which is you know a lot of guys want out and whatnot so that's interesting and i'm quite curious to see how things pan out as this game is coming up on a release and they're going to be having more of these devlog type videos uh, in the coming weeks here on their channel. So very kind of looking forward to seeing how they explain every other aspect of this game. And so I'd say if you are a sim fan and you want the hardcore wrestling simulation, this game's probably not going to be for you. Like perhaps you can kind of have some meters get tweaked and kind of make it work somehow. But on the surface, this looks like much more of an arcadey, like, hey, we, we looked at Here Comes the Pain. Like, give me that kind of a speed for the wrestling game we're making. And so as someone who's been saying put up or shut up for a long time, and they finally put up on this thing, like, kudos, kudos. But again, I remain tentatively very interested in what this game is doing, and certainly I'll be here on launch day doing videos and hoping that it is good to have a nice long schedule of videos in the coming months of this channel. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.